his charges were devastated. The following week, his emotions overflowed. Adam, if you're out there watching, we're still praying, kid. We're praying for you. The prayers have been answered, and tonight, number 43 is again part of the team. Tireless work and determination to return to the field tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Penn State's number 43, Adam Talaferro. Here comes Penn State, the largest home crowd ever at Beaver Stadium. Three in the second longest winning streak. And as Bob said, Penn State trying to make amends for only a five-win campaign last year. Here we go. Larry Johnson right on the goal line. Johnson across the 15. Got to the 20 two moments ago. 6'3", 228 pounder, those are his career numbers. First start for him in front of the big hometown crowd. And he'll be working from his own 21-yard line. He's a fourth-year junior. He's been around four years, has not started a game. This is his first start. Momentarily comes to a hush after using a lot of energy in the first 10 minutes before the kick. Seneca in trouble on the first snap. He's going to get something out of this, though. Got a block. Got caught out of bounds. Actually, here's the big ones up front. Felder, Branson, Iorio, Linda, and Matt Schmidt, who's played both left tackle and right tackle and center. He's probably the best one they've got up there. Mick Blosser, a former walkout, is the fullback. Omar Easy will start the game. We'll see a lot of Johnson and McCoo. Drummond and Johnson, the wideouts, and John Gilmore is a big tight end. Eddie Drummond, number 20 there, is the guy that they would like to be their impact receiver. And there he comes out to the near side, second down and three. Straight up the middle they go. Sean McCool. First down, Penn State. Johnson in motion across the field. Here comes Omar. Easy. Making it look that way. Across the 45 to walk from the outside. Bryant Johnson, number 24, is going to come in and pick up the strong safety right there. Johnson, a wide receiver. The one man that had to make the play. For Penn State. And again, they'll go straight up the middle with a full bound with three wideouts. Pressure coming. And he's hit as he throws. Oh, it's a tailback in the eye. Play action for Dorsey. Plenty of time, and there it is. First completion. Out to Jones, Adams, Kennedy, and Haynes up front. Jimmy Kennedy is a load at that tackle spot. Ben Fatty, Finney, and Wake, the linebackers. And on the corners... Scott and Branch, Crenshaw, and Israel are the safeties. So it matches up Penn State defensive line with Kennedy. Matched up against that great offensive line for Miami. Huge size, a lot of talent. Second down, seven. Jones in motion. And it's Portis, and he's got a big opening off the left side, and he's got great speed. Inside the 30, down the sideline. They get him at about the 11 yard line. Second down at six. Portis, they just keep working that left side behind that big Austin McKinney, and this time Penn State. Holding on the offense, 10-yard penalty from the line. Back at the 21. Dorsey, quick drop, three-step throw, high. But Danny Dorsey, they're going to keep it on the ground. Portis looking for a place to run, but nowhere to hide. Boy, he's hollered out there. Bibler, the offensive guard, the right guard pulling around. Just nothing there. Good defense. Kick the field goal. Last year, going to try a 35-yarder. So Miami gets something out of the drive. The penalty hurt them, but they still end up with three with 9.30 to go first quarter. The field we were on last night, it was just gorgeous. Yep. Kick goes again. Larry Johnson, two yards deep, and he'll bring it again. Johnson weaves his way through the middle. Got a kicker to beat and did. Across the 40. Johnson down the sideline. Going to be knocked out, but it's going to be about a 75-yard return. Philip Buchanan saved a touchdown. Larry Johnson is special. He's one of the running backs, one of the three running backs. Miami is so good on kickoff coverage of getting down inside the 20 so quickly. But Johnson just let him come down and then foul. Just got down the sideline in the 
Smith. Buchanan, the starting corner, wasn't there. Had been yards at officially down to the 31 yard line. Seneca, plenty of time. Going to the end zone. Johnson tipped away. What a great play because Brian Johnson had a step and at the last instant. Here they come. Blitz coming. Oh, and a fumble. Loose ball. Miami's got it. Miami is a very aggressive defense. Three wideouts now for Dorsey. Plenty of time. He goes across the midfield. Back to the ground of Portis. Portis got a nice block off that side. Here he goes again. Clinton Portis. They're looking for more here. All day to throw. Dorsey, touchdown. That is pick. Ethnic Sands, he did. He had two guys out there, and it's a 27-yard touchdown. He had 128 total yards already. Penn State, look out. They get to the quarterback. Second down to 20. Back inside his own 10. A little, a little quick opening draw, and it opens up pretty well for Omar Easy. Somewhere along the line here. Probably we're planning on it this way. Right, right. And here's his first attempt to pass. He won't get an attempt to pass as he goes down. Both. And we'll have results later in the game. Down the middle, Shockey the tight end. Boy, it's nice to have First quarter, 10-0 Canes looking to add to it. Porters with a big night already in that left side. 15, 20, 25 years. Dorsey, handoff, draw play to Porters. Porters weaving his way again, then puts his head down and plows. Goes down at 13. Dorsey, the drop over the middle, incomplete. Overshot his intended receiver, Daryl Jones. He's got one tonight from 35, and he's got one from 42. It's good. So the Canes tack on three more. An inch further, a freshman now running the show. Omar, easy, easy, into the secondary. Who hasn't thrown a pass yet. And easy, off the right side. Whew. Stood up by somebody. He just per carry average so far. This time up the middle again, and again he's taking would-be tackle. Easy. Dragged down from behind by Andrew Williams. Earl Jones waits on the other end. Better kick this time. Jones camps under it at the 16. Got a block, got to the corner, and then cut down. Nice open possession. Dorsey. Oh, what a block. And he throws a strike. And it's a first down. Dorsey pump fakes one way and throws a shot down the middle. Complete down to the 25 yard line. Now he's changing things up. On the ground, McGahee, first team defensive line back in there now, but Dorsey still had enough time to throw incomplete, knocked away by a seven-yard field goal attempt for Seavers. He's hit from 35 and 42, and he hit the upright. He's living right, goes in. So Seavers with three field goals already, We're laughing about that. A full moon over Miami and Penn State in Happy Valley. Brad Nestler, Bob Greasy, Lynn Swan with you, the number two team in the country, in here in front of the largest home crowd ever for a Penn State football game, almost 107,000 on hand. An emotional beginning with Adam Talaferro coming out of the Shepard uh, Center down in Atlanta, and uh, we'll take this book and uh, give it to him from Adam. Danny of your Miami right at the midfield strike, leading by 16. Dorsey, down the middle again he goes. In side, he's back in there now, in motion. Play action. Dorsey wide open is Davenport. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Canes. Nobody home on the backside. A 28 yard touchdown pass. That's just good execution. Get in at quarterback. And again, they'll do the option, but the option is the eight. Penn State hoping to get theirs on track here. Seneca under pressure. That's not going to help the elbow. The number two team in the country. McGahee across the field. Very well. Larry Coker said we maybe know our players better than we know each other. Here's McGahee on a third and five, and they still haven't picked up a third drive. Runner. Get some points on the board. Run your natural, normal offense. Here's a counter to McCoo. And McCoo jumps through a hole and got about option. There's a pitch to McCoo. And I don't know. Might have gotten there. those kinds of plays. That's what they did with McCoo two plays ago on a counter. And now here's Seneca, and he got hit as he tried to throw. Quarterbacks are a combined 0 for 6 throwing the football. Here's that counter that Swanee was talking about. And did get good yardage, but McCoo. 
Jones camps under it. Late fair catch call for it. I don't know if he touched it or not. Flags down. Penn State says they have it. They might get it. I thought he touched it, but I'm not. Whoa. It's at its own 43-yard line. Here's Portis back in the lineup. Boy, he get nailed by Anthony. Third and seven. Again, nobody around him. He picks his poison and goes right back to his team tonight. The penalties really their only downfall so far. Portis on a little quick opening draw. And he puts a nice move on. Broke a tackle. Down the sideline is Portis. Big collision at the 18. The whole package. They sure look like it right now. Here's McGahee who took his spot and he almost 20 yards. Nice play fake by Dorsey. Wide open and shocking. One man to beat. Got there. Touchdown. for Penn State, Seneca from the shotgun. Matt steps up, has some time. Now he pulls it down and gets what he can. Oh, I mean, he got a headache out of it, but he's still standing, and the guy that hit him is the one that went down. Third down at six. Easy in motion out of that backfield. Seneca. There he completed the pass, but it only got about a yard, and now pass by Penn State in this half. And back to the ground game goes Clinton Portis. He's had a way back into the 80s. Dorsey's going deep. He's got a man open. He's out there, and he's got it. Intercepted. Intercepted. Bruce Branch picks it off. Beard had a shot at it, and Branch is coming the other way. Branch down the sideline. And the Nittany Lions have it with 18. Beat. <laughs> Branch is uh, getting beat. Beard, number nine, has got this ball right on the money, running it in for a score. Branch is two or three yards behind him, just pays attention and gets the rebound. What a crazy-looking play. You don't charge that interception to the quarterback. No, that's for sure. Charge it to Beard. That's for two tonight. Looking to throw here. In trouble. And floats one out and got it to Johnson complete. Johnson with a stiff arm inside the 35. As a collegiate, He'll remember this one. Moves around a little bit, which you're going to have to do against an aggressive front four like the Hurricanes have. Johnson gets back to the inside, knowing that he has a timeout left. And, and Tony Johnson all of the near side as Zach Mills drops on the final play of the half. Going to lay one up there. Lazy pass. Brian Johnson's the closest, but it's intercepted by Miami. James Lewis back there defensively. The problem is in the pass protection. We've got to protect and give Seneca a chance to move the ball down the field in the air. Right? That'll be a tough one for him to do the way it went in the first half. Here's the return of the kick, Andre Johnson. Whoa. Boy, that's total yardage, 372. The only thing Miami leads in is uh, penalties, and that's not even on there. <laughs> 15 first downs, just five for Penn State. And they controlled the... Uh, everything in that first half both on offense and on defense and the only real blemish on his first half stats was that goofy interception we just saw here's Portis nice little delay and then skips outside got the corner again across the 40 and out to the to the 46 yard line Dorsey again all day to throw and completes it first down Andre Johnson and Dave, you have to take it over from Michael Vick, so you know Virginia Tech's going to apparently be good on offense again. Here comes Clinton Portis. And penalty markers down. I think it was Ethnic Sands who was uh, third and 16. Dorsey fires out. He'll be well short of the first down, Andre. Capshaw put the first one out inside the 15. This one he kicks straight away. Bruce Branch. On the return. Not good. Not good. Zach Mills at quarterback. Here's a counter. And an opening. Omar Easy. Mills. Better pass. Better result. Got it to the same guy I got the other one too, but this one had something on it. Yeah. The red shirt freshman. Mills. Five step drop, sets up and throws. This ball's got some zip on it and gets there quickly. In between defenders. See the safety backing up. Here comes a blitz. And it pays off. There's 15 yards away. At the 45. Mills in trouble again. Whoops. Now he goes. 
what he expected from him this year after his brilliant season last year. And he's back to throw again. He's got a man open. Got him inside the 50. Off to the races goes Kevin Beard. Didn't drop that one. Out of the 28-yard line. Back to the ground. And Portis and Portis with a big opening again. Clinton Portis. Touchdown. Penalty markers down. But Portis. During the play, we had two holdings on Miami. After the play was over, <laughs> unsportsmanlike conduct on Miami. First down at 34 now. And McGahee might make a big bunch of that up right here. Got a couple of We saw him up in New York on that building last week. <laughs> Here's Dorsey, and he goes down to the tight end jockey of the Hurricanes march here. Dorsey, quick slant, got it. Down to the two. It's first of his career there. Here's McGahee off the right side, bouncing his way, lost the football. Penn State's got it. Ryan Scott comes up with a loose ball. Hey, I think Scott, 32, might get the ball and knock it out. Watch Scott come up from behind him. Oh, the helmet. Helmet. Mayor's helmet, I think. Yep. You're right. Good, tough defense. And down now 12. A loss on the play at two. Mills comes up firing. Got it. Out across the 15. John Gilmore, his tight end. Pick up of 11. It'll be a couple yards short. And Omar Easy, they're going to throw for it. Mills across the middle. A surprise. And a first down and quite a bit more. And it's Gilmore again. Knowing that this defensive line is tough. Just dumps it off to your tight end over the middle against a linebacker. See if Miami can do it, so can we. Vilma just can't get there. Larry Johnson in the backfield now. He got the handoff. And fighting his way. Strong guy. What color is that field up there? Is it brown? Oh, no. <laughs> They're tearing it up. I know that. Yes, they are. Here's Mills. The sideline. Caught. Bryant Johnson, a great grab. <laughs> Finally, something to cheer up. Johnson, number 24 against Rump. Oh, great catch. Watch it when he goes up. They have a new receiver coach, Kenny Carter, and he told the quarterback, I want you to throw the ball to give my receivers, your receivers, a chance to make down play. 15 now. Mills throws. Intended for Bryant Johnson. Penn State's got to go for it. They have to try to get something happening. Fourth and 15, deep middle to the tight end, and it's broken up. Incomplete. Uh, but... He moves around a lot. He there. does move a little bit. Yeah, that's right. And again, they get that yardage from the... Looking after him. Oof, man. That gives you chills, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. There's a the pass out to him. And he's got a first down. Or he works close. with the secondary. He's at practice every day. Twice a day, he's in working out, trying to get better physically. As Dorsey zips another one. He's got to the 18-yard line. Dorsey pumps once and then throws. Did get rid of it to Peyton. And Jarrett, nice stiff arm. Cuts inside the 10, back to the 9 field goals. This is the shortest one he'll attempt from 23. And he's still perfect. Four for four for Seavers. So the first points of the second half, they look like Mutt and Jeff when they're side by side. Here's a run by McCoo. Eric finds an open field. Still on his feet out to the 30-yard line. And then McCoo, their leading rusher the last three years. Yeah. They just need to get some balance in their passing exactly. game. Exactly. Uh, if they had any. Well, they've actually only had three quarterbacks in the history of the school. And I said earlier, they play as the tight end Gilmore. They played football here 115 They're years. down at inches here. And straight ahead they go with Sean McHugh's Penn State team. But hey, this is still Happy Valley, and not too many people come in here and push people around like they are right now. 33 to nothing. Zach Mills scrambling and trying to buy some time, and he somehow, on another pass that had eyes, finally got one to Eddie Drummond. There you go. It wasn't much prettier. Now he's calming down a little bit. And he's going to throw a fade over here, and Ryan Johnson's got it, and he's going to score. Touchdown, Penn State. more like it.
Kenny Carter, the offensive uh, wide receiver coach. We were watching him do this the other night at practice, and that's a great example of it right there. Give your guys a chance. Not the greatest field position they've had tonight, however. Frank Gore is in the backfield, the guy that Bob's talking about. And kind of an unceremonious nice hibble got on track, and you could see him mature in that uh, ball game that we had earlier today on 86 to play. Gapshaw's kick. Takes a bounce, and he has to let it go. Who stayed five years, so. Pass complete. Broken tackle by John Gilmore, the tight end. Gilmore shugs off another blocker and then takes about three Hurricanes with him. Some of the Miami fans get upset that Butch Davis left. Right out at us. Gilmore shakes a tackle. Rumpf shakes another one. Smith. Howard Clark. Clark. Yep. Mm. Couple good ones, John. Thanks for keeping us posted. Mills throws outside incomplete. This one's, hey, we, we can have fun, but we can't have silly penalties because that's going to get to you. Mills, nice ball, Brian Johnson. Nice catch, too. Good throw. 35-yard catch. That's D.J. Williams, 17, a linebacker running with him, and I think you're right. State had some... Pretty good players they named Barry Sanders and Thurman Thomas. So yeah. He's worked with some good ones. And Zach goes down, fourth sack of the night. <laughs> <laughs> he's quick as a cat, though. And here's Omar Easy. Omar's. There's plenty of time for Mills, and Easy's got it and on the other end. Most people that have been around him and what he's been through know that. Uh, his calling is for much more than football. It's, he's going to have a bigger impact on uh, things in the world than he had the 29 of the Canes. Zach again sets and fires. Intercepted. There's a mistake. Hung that one too good. You can't do it. With and taking a knee. That'll end the ball game. So Miami ranked number two in the country, and they look like the number two team in the country right here. Penn State goes to 0 and 1. Larry Coker gets his first win ever. 33 to 7 is the final. As the two coaches will shake hands, they've never officially met until right now. And you know Joe is very happy for him, despite the fact his team comes up short. That's going to do it for us. We'll see you from Austin, Texas, next week. For Bob Greasy, Lynn Swan, Adam Talaferro, and everybody else. I'm Brad Nestler. Thanks for being with us. 33-7, Miami a winner. We're going to send you out to a very, very good game between the Pac-10 and the Big Ten. Wisconsin and Oregon. Keith Jackson and Tim Brandt are standing by.